Today's story starts in March 1944, when the USS ARD-20 was commissioned. But first, let's look at where we are in history. With the attack on Pearl Harbor on December 7, 1941, the United States entered the battle in the Pacific Ocean. The vast expanse of Pacific, with mostly unindustrialized islands, required the Navy to have the ability to maintain ships on the road. Some repairs are not possible while a vessel is in the water. These repairs are performed in a dry dock. With a traditional dry dock, ground is excavated next to a body of water. A caisson or lock gate is used to seal the dry dock, and then the dock is flooded. Once the dock is flooded, the caisson is removed and the vessel enters. The caisson is replaced and the water is pumped out. With a floating dry dock, the walls contain ballast tanks much like a submarine. The tanks flood with water, which lowers the dock into the water. The vessel enters the dock, the ballast tanks are pumped, this raises the vessel out of the water. When buying a ship with a floating dry dock and add a fully equipped machine shop, a new auxiliary repair dock, or ARD. The ARD is towed to where it is needed. The ARD contains a machine shop, cranes, crew, and all the necessities of ship repair. ARD-20 was deployed to several locations in the Pacific and then sent to the Naval Reserves. In the mid-1960s, the White Sands was brought back into service to support top-secret deep dive operations which included searches for lost satellite footage and a lost submarine. The White Sands returned to the reserves and was sold in September 1974 for salvage. The new home for the White Sands is Lake Union in Seattle. Lake Union is at a higher elevation than the Puget Sound, requiring the White Sands to transit the Ballard Locks. Only one problem, the large lock is 80 feet wide and the White Sands has a beam of 81 feet. So what to do? Enter the Army Corps of Engineers, who weighted down one side of the vessel, causing it to list at 38 degrees. The White Sands then went through the locks on its side. That must have been something to watch. To this day, the White Sands is the largest vessel to pass through the locks. Today, the White Sands is approaching its 80th birthday. The superstructure and the bow have been removed, and it is still a fully functional floating dry dock. For the Lake Union Dry Dock Company, do you recognize any of the vessels at their facilities? Please let me know in the comments below. And thanks for watching.